Hello and welcome to a new vault log. Today we are taking a look at this uh, panel meter module. We want to see what kind of uh, resolution and accuracy we are getting from this uh, panel meter while at the same time comparing with the advertised numbers. If you remember a couple of weeks ago I reviewed another panel meter module in vault log 127 and the performance was uh, pretty poor. If you'd like to watch that video, there will be a link for that on the, on the screen right now. This module looks uh, rather simple, just uh, two lines, each with four digit seven segment LED modules. And my particular model is uh, rated for 10 amps and uh, 200 volts DC. But there are other possible models with uh, different uh, ratings as well. I'm mostly interested to see how well this would work for a power supply or an electronic load because these are popular DIY projects where you would need something like this. These are the specs of the module. Unfortunately it's uh, all I could get and uh, it comes from the product listing on eBay. I don't know if we should trust it or not and I don't know who the manufacturer of these uh, modules is. These modules usually have a separate power input for the internal logic. In this case, uh, it is rated at four, uh, 4 to 28 volts DC input and is uh, handled through this 3-pin uh, JST connector. Red and black wire are for powering the uh, module itself, while yellow is the voltage sense wire for the voltage measurement. The high current path for the current measurement needs to be routed through this uh, second cable which uh, has thicker wires. These are marked uh, 18 AWG but uh, they don't exactly look like uh, they could handle 10 amps continuously though granted they are quite short so it might just work. The internal construction seems uh, pretty simple even though they have uh, rubbed off the uh, numbers of uh, this chip right here. Uh, it looks like an STM8S microcontroller and uh, that means it is using the internal 10-bit ADC with its internal reference. They also have this uh, HC595 shift register which uh, takes care of multiplexing all the different uh, segments for the LED module. What makes it even more interesting are these uh, two uh, very small adjustable resistors which could mean we can manually calibrate this if we are not happy with the measurement accuracy. And we'll check that later. Here is how the display looks. We have two colors. The um, top line is red and that shows uh, the uh, voltage while the bottom line is blue and uh, that shows the current. The scanning effect that you see on video is not visible in real life, everything looks fine. Uh, it's just an effect of the um, refresh rate of the uh, camera I'm using. The contrast is very good and I believe that is because they, they are using this um, uh, some sort of filter film in front of the display so that improves the contrast and makes this visible even under these uh, bright uh, lights that I'm using here for shooting video. We have 10 millivolts resolution at least until we reach 99.99 uh, .99 volts. I don't uh, know what happens after that but logic would dictate they switch to 100 millivolts resolution and move the decimal point one position to the right. For the current measurement, it seems we have 1 milliamp resolution and that should be valid until 9.999 uh, amps, which in this case is also the maximum the meter can measure anyway. You don't get any measurement unit displayed, nor is it uh, silk screened in any way on the front panel of the meter, but I don't uh, mind that and considering it's it's pretty compact unit, I could add that myself to the fr final front panel to the right of the module. Now I'll just take a set of uh, measurements, both uh, voltage and current, and compare those with my Agilent 34401 6.5 digit multimeter. 
So these are the results for my measurements. I took uh, 10 measurements points for both voltage and uh, current. I chose some values uh, that I consider to be useful and this is what I got. Now remember the advertised spec was 0.08% uh, plus or minus 2 counts. In terms of uh, voltmeter accuracy, uh, even if we take away 2 counts from, uh, from the measurements, the, ed the error will remain about 0.5% uh, up to 1% across the uh, measured uh, scale. We are basically seeing tens of millivolts on the uh, voltmeter as an error and that might be acceptable, it might not, it really depends on how you plan to use it, but it's good to know this before buying the module. On the ammeter accuracy things look much better and if we take away two counts from the measurements the error will stay within 0.08% which is really nice considering the 1 milliamp resolution. So this could be a good panel meter for projects where you need 1 milliamp resolution and the current measuring accuracy matters like for example with an electronic dummy load. Now of course this is not a proper test to cover the full range of the panel meter or its temperature stability but considering the price of the module which is only $5 and the projects where it's going to be used you can't really expect me to cover all of those. Now what I would like to do is uh, try and fiddle with the uh, potentiometer on the back and see if I can adjust the voltmeter to fall within 0.08% uh, at least for uh, some part of its uh, range like these measurement points that I used during my test. So after about 5 minutes of fiddling with that uh, tiny potentiometer on the back of the panel meter, I uh, managed to adjust it. It was very very difficult to adjust it because I was uh, going over range uh, uh, quite easily. It's, uh, it's not uh, a 10 turn pot, nothing like that, so it's very fiddly to adjust. But I got some interesting results after adjusting. It is only one count or two count out of uh, the Agilent measurement. So after adjustment, we are basically uh, within the uh, specified error. Sometimes with just these um, uh, two decimal points, it's 0% error. So pretty good accuracy after adjustment. But uh, while, while doing this adjustment, I had this idea that it would be much nicer if uh, uh, one would replace these with some 10 turn pots because then the adjustment would be very easy to do. I'm suspecting you will also notice uh, some drifts with uh, temperature um, while using this module but I'm quite happy with the results I got and uh, it's a very good panel meter for the price. It's definitely worth getting one of these and uh, using it in a power supply or an electronic uh, dummy load it will work very well and like I said if you really need to uh, calibrate it you can replace uh, those pots if you feel like you cannot adjust with uh, with those you can replace them with some uh, 10 turn pots and then uh, you would uh, calibrate it more easily I've only fiddled with the voltage calibration but you could also try the current uh, calibration potentiometer. In my case the measurements were pretty good for the ammeter so I didn't need to uh, change that at all. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting one of these if you plan to build a uh, power supply or an electronic dummy load and you, if you like this uh, look and feel with the 7 segment displays uh, it will be $5 well spent. The design is based on an STM8S mi microcontroller as I suspect so hacking it and uh, rewriting the firmware should be pretty easy but it already does what it's supposed to do so I don't see a point to hacking this module. I think you'd be better off designing a panel meter from scratch. So that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button that always uh, helps. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, video. There will be links in the description for places where you can buy this uh, module. 
As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.